I've recently ranked all 13 Halloween Disney Channel original movies and you can check that out up here after this video and this is part 2 to that video where I rank all Halloween Disney Channel episodes and I feel like I need to give a little disclaimer that the episodes I'll be ranking are from shows that I used to watch growing up or like went back to watch now and just all shows that I've experienced in general so it's not all Disney Channel shows so it's not all Disney Channel Halloween episodes and there was also other shows that I watched but weren't able to re-watch for this year or for this video and that is Dog with a Blog and I didn't do it so they won't be on this list either. And to give some context, I was born in 2001 and I'll be ranking an episode from That's So Raven that started in 2002 all the way up to Raven's Home that is still going on now in 2021. And because it is quite a few episodes, I'm going to be ranking them using a tier list. Okay, so on my tier list, my tiers are, the bottom one is Get In The Bin, and it's literally any episode that I don't really care for that much. Like, it's kind of forgettable, don't really want to watch it. Coming up from that is, was this even Halloween? Because there are some episodes where it's so, like, remotely Halloween that it doesn't feel Halloween. Then we have Average Joe in the middle, and it's kind of, like, very average, just good bad in the middle then we also have great so any episode great and then coming up from that is must watch one i have to watch every single halloween because it wouldn't feel like halloween without it and then the top tier is icon behavior absolutely iconic any episode where it just lives in your brain rent free and i just want to give another disclaimer that this is all my opinion and i know that other people will have other opinions so comment down below what you may agree or disagree with and just your general tier list thoughts as well okay let's start off with that's the raven season two episode two don't have a cow and this episode i think is an average joe it's just kind of average like it is almost great but then I only think it's great surrounding Raven and Chelsea and in this through the help of Chelsea she turns her and Raven into cows and all like the other Halloween stuff of the other characters I don't really care that much for but just surrounding them where they turn to cows towards the end that part is funny and fun then we have the Sweet Life and Second Cody season 1 episode 19 the ghost of 613 and honestly this episode is just so funny and I think I'm actually gonna put it up in some must watch they're pranking Zach because he's been pranking them and it's just so funny because they make it pretend that there's a room haunted and it's just I just find it really funny and also from the sweet life we have season 3 episode 12 Arwenstein and I'm going to put this in average Joe pretty much the story of Frankenstein where Arwen makes a Frankenstein monster and yeah it's just average then we have Hannah Montana season 1 episode 17 torn between two Hannahs and I'm going to put this in average Joe as well because it's fun with um Robbie and Jackson like fighting with their neighbour like who's got a better like haunted house and then where her evil cousin Luann comes down to try and ruin her career pretending to be her like it's funny it's fun but it's nothing like too special as well okay now we have Phineas and Ferb and there is a lot of Halloween episodes with Phineas and Ferb and honestly I think all of them are great we'll start with season one episode nine one good scare ought to do it and I think this is a must watch this is just where Isabella has hiccups and then they build an entire like haunted house haunted mansion to try and like scare it out of her I just think it's really fun and funny. Sticking with season one, we have episode 22, The Monster of Phineas and Ferbenstein. And I'm going to say this is great. Pretty much, again, the story of Frankenstein. I mean, Disney Channel loves the story of Frankenstein. They make Perry into a Frankenstein monster. And then Candace accidentally drinks the potion and she becomes a monster. I just find it really funny because she wins like a costume party, like best dressed or whatever. But she's actually a monster. And then we have season three, episode 14, That's the Spirit. And I'm going to say this is a um, hmm, average Joe episode. It is a fun episode, but it's just like a fake haunted house. One of their friends like says, "Oh, this haunted house," but it's just like him and his parents who like go around like building up a fake haunted house. It's fun, but not anything special. And Doctor Doofenshmirtz is a wear cow, so that's fun as well. But yeah, then we have the curse of Candice, where she thinks she's a vampire because they just came out of, like a vampire movie, and it's got a massive bop in it, it's got a great bop in it, a banger of a song and so that is a must watch every Halloween. But I'm a lost little vampire in the sun. Season 4 episode 18 terrifying tri-state trilogy of terror and I'll say that's a great episode. It's pretty much just so you have Candace who like puts a curse on her teddy bear and she thinks like it's an evil teddy bear. And then you have Doofenshmirtz like making wishes on a giant baby head and it's funny because Perry makes him waste all his wishes. And then there's also Perry clones and so it's kind of like Ghostbusters-esque where they're trying to like kill, like destroy all the Perry clones. It's a great episode, fun. I just think like they were short or too long as well, like the different stories. But season four, episode 19, Drew Solstino Ween. 
and I'm going to put in Was This Even Halloween? It was, but then I, it's like also not. It's pretty much they just throw like a Halloween party in a castle where Doofenshmirtz is trying to like get the money. I think like the nan died or something. I can't really remember the episode either. So maybe get in the bin. It's kind of like there in the middle. But I'm going to put it in Was This Even Halloween? Because it's kind of funny, kind of good, but also kind of average. So it's like a mixture of all of them. Episode 29, Night of the Living Pharmacies, part one, because there's a two part. And I don't really remember this lot. It's pretty much Doofenshmirtz schmerz turns people into into zombies and yeah i think i'm just gonna put in get in the bin oh, it's a shame because i love phineas and ferb but then part two is so much better i mean like part two is like great or a must watch boothford sacrifices himself perry turns into a doofenshmirtz zombie and so he's like a perry colliding with a doofenshmirtz and it's just crazy and then ferb sacrifices himself for phineas and isabella phineas turns into a zombie and isabella is the one to save the day and that's such a great episode and it's also cool because there's even a scene that kind of looks like a scene from attack on titan and then we have wizards of waverly place my favorite disney channel show and just my one of my favorite tv shows in general so you can kind of tell where this halloween episode is going and it's season three episode two halloween so easily named and it's iconic. The sub shop haunted house is a flop every year and so Alex goes to like the wizarding world to pick up some ghosts and then you have one ghost called like Mad Tooth or something like that and he's a crazy one and it's really scary kind of like when I was younger but this episode is so iconic. Sweet Life on Deck season 3 episode 10 The Ghost of Mr. Martin and I'm gonna say this is an average episode. I can't really remember it, but it's like a ghost that's haunting Zack and then he has to clear its name and then the ghost like gets reunited with someone. And then there's like a Ghostbusters reference as well, which is pretty cool. Good Luck Charlie season two, episode five. Scary had a little lamb. I'm gonna say this is great just because Amy dresses up as Bob and then Bob dresses up as Amy as their Halloween costume. And then there's a really funny thing towards like the end where Teddy gets revenge on a guy who scared Charlie. And I just think it's really fun and funny. Maybe even a must watch, but I'm going to put in great for now. And I can't find the picture for it right now, but I'm going to put season 3, episode 16, Le Halloween, into Was This Even Halloween? Because the episode is okay, but then it's not really Halloween-y. Teddy and Spencer, they have like an anniversary date. Gabe and Mrs. Dabney just go off to like scam a bunch of old people. And then the only really like Halloween-y aspect you have is just like with Bob and Amy and their kids where they're just like dressing up and handing out Halloween sweets. Not really Halloween-y, I guess. And then there's like a clam attack towards the end and stuff. So it's okay episode, but not really Halloween-y. But then we have season 3 episode 14, Fright Night, which is an iconic episode. I mean, who would have thought mixing Christmas caroling with Halloween? Teddy and her pals do some Halloween caroling because they need to raise money. I just find that such a funny idea. It doesn't really work out that well, but that's such an iconic episode. Now we have Shake It Up season 2, episode 5, Beam It Up. And I'm going to put this in... Average Joe. Actually, I'm gonna put it in Wizards Even Halloween. <laughs> it's like there's Halloween aspects, but then also not Halloween aspects. And then there's the kid from In the Middle, I think. Flynn thinks that he's an alien or something, but he turns out that he's not. And so it's just like a, I don't really care for this episode either. Season 3, episode 25, Haunting It Up. I'm gonna put in Average Joe. Rocky and Cece think they're too mature for Halloween, and so they do a mature Halloween, but then it turns out they wanna do Halloween anyway. And now Ant Farm, this is easy. Season one, episode 14, Mutant Farm, iconic. It brings the iconic, Calling All the Monsters performance. Honestly, do I need to say more? I love like them as mutants, and I just think it's iconic episode humans versus mutants it's not so easy iconic calling all the monsters performance and so this episode is iconic and then season two episode 13 mutant farm three is a great episode you got logan from i didn't do it and he thinks that china is a human and china thinks that he is a monster or something like that and then they swap and then it's just really funny and olive just creates loads of those different clones of her and it's a british one and i just find that really funny i created another clone so i could have a squat of tea <laughs> such a great episode and actually i think i might need to move it up into a must watch because I love this episode. But then season 3, episode 12, Mutant Farm 3.0 is not a great episode and I can't find its photo. Oh, yeah. Get in the bin. I apologise. I just literally can't think of this episode. I think that they go to like an alternate reality where they've got like the human versions of them and then they make them dress up as like their mutant versions and then send them back to like their normal reality so they don't get drained or something like I just once you have two iconic episodes like a must watch an iconic episode and then 
get in the bin. Mm. And now, Jesse, what an iconic show. Season 2, episode 1, The Whining. And that's an iconic episode. And I love how they started off a season with a Halloween episode. Like, okay, way to hook your audience. And obviously, given the title of this episode, it is a play on The Shining. There's a Curse 13th floor and an evil nanny. Obviously, the evil nanny is played by Jesse. I just find it really funny. All the kids are hilarious in this. And just an iconic episode and season three episode one ghost bummers again starting off a season with a halloween episode and this is instead of the shining this is a play on ghostbusters and i've recently watched the ghostbusters movies and you can check out my first time watching reactions up here i watched that after i watched this episode and so i didn't know it was ghostbusters and now that i know it's ghostbusters it makes this episode so much more better and now it is a must watch for every year and then episode 23 the bride of frankenstein very much halloweeny again a play on the story of frankenstein literally Disney Channel can't get enough of it. I'm not a fan of Brooks. I'm always Team Tony. I don't like this episode that much. And yes, they're dressed up as Halloweeny. They're doing Halloweeny things, but the story isn't really Halloweeny. Like it's pretty much will Jesse say yes to marrying Brooks and she does say yes to marrying Brooks, but I don't really care too much for this episode. And now Austin Ali, season two, episode one, Costumes and Courage. This song is iconic. And you wanna know why it's iconic? Well, one, this is the first time Ali has performed and she's not really Ali, she's like in a costume pretending to be Taylor Swift. I'm a very big fan of Taylor Swift, I love her. And there's so many Taylor Swift references in this because Austin Moon is supposed to be performing with Taylor Swift on a new song that him and Ali wrote. But then Trish and Dez end up knocking out Taylor Swift. Obviously, it's probably not Taylor Swift because we never see her face, but the performance is iconic. The song is iconic. And season three, episode 20, horror stories and Halloween scares. I'm gonna give it an average joke. All three of them telling ghost stories to scare Ali, and then Ali's trying to like prank them, do a scare prank, but obviously it doesn't work because she's not the best at scaring people. And then she like freaks out and scares them. But yeah, it's average until that point where that's like where it's good. Season 4, episode 15, Scary Spirits and Spooky Stories. I'm not too sure with this episode because it's them telling different ghost stories, like different scary stories to try and like win a competition, but they end up missing the competition because they're too busy telling their stories to each other. The reason I like it a little bit more than kind of average is because Austin's story is where he is British and he just made loads of jokes like, oh, shepherd's pie, oh, tea and biscuits and crumpets. I don't even know if those were the jokes, but I just thought they were really funny and so... Yeah, I'm going to put it in great. And it was also a Halloween crossover with Casey Undercover. There's a lot of crossovers at this point in loads of different episodes. I think it was like maybe five shows had a Halloween crossover. Different characters mean in different things, not in just this one episode where you saw loads of different shows in it. There's only one show in this one, I think. And now Liv and Maddie, a guilty pleasure of mine. I like love this show just from watching these um, Halloween episodes. I just love it. This episode, Kangarooney is a must watch. Maddie gets Liv to flirt with Joe when she's in the kangaroo costume because he's too scared to talk to a new girl at school and then Joey forms a crush on his sister and it's really funny because when they first have their conversation he's like I'm gonna leave this conversation on a high note and then he actually walks away singing on a high note and then he does it later on but with a low note and I just think it's really funny. I'm gonna leave this conversation on a high note. <laughs> Joey is an iconic character, and this episode is a must watch. Season 2, episode 3, Helga Weena Rooney, is a great episode. It's so funny. Maddie wishes that she was never a twin and ends up becoming a triplet with one called Helga. And honestly, Dove Cameron not just playing two people, but playing three different people, which is really funny. And yes, so like Helga is like the scary twin. And like in this show, they have a running thing where it's like sisters by chance, friends by choice. But in this episode, it's sisters by chance, friends by force. And I just thought that was really funny. Season 3, episode 5, Haunt a Rooney. I'm gonna put in Get in the Bin. It's like a fun episode, but I don't really care for it because it is kind of like boring with the storyline with Liv and Holden, and then it's boring because the storyline with Maddie, Willow, and Parker is just drawn out a little bit too long. But it does make a reference to Austin wearing the bacon costume which he wears in his Halloween episode. So and again, season four, episode three, Scare Rooney, get in the bin. 
don't really care about this episode either. The new school that Parker and Joey go to, they don't really celebrate Halloween, so it's them pulling a prank trying to scare them into loving Halloween. And it's Liv and their cousin Ruby that go to a torture restaurant, which is kind of cool, that's a cool idea for a restaurant, but again, don't really care about that. And then Maddie is literally so irrelevant, it's just her trying to catch like a someone who just comes around pranking the houses every year. Fun, cool, but not for me. Like, I just don't really care about that. Girl Meets World, another guilty pleasure of mine. This is the Disney Channel show that I most recently watched. I probably watched it last month or something. Honestly, Riley, annoying to some, but I absolutely love her. And all episodes are called Girl Meets World of Terror, and then it's one, two, three. All of them have, like, Augie as the narrator, Riley's younger brother, and I just think all of these episodes are great. And so Girl Meets World of Terror 1, I think this is an iconic episode, and it's split into three different stories, and it's like Farquhar overcomes his fear of, like, not wanting to be hurt playing, like, softball. Riley overcomes her fear of not wanting to sleep at Maya's house, and then Augie overcomes his fear of the monster under the bed, he, like, and then he, like, grows up and matures, and I just love it. That's so cute and sweet and honestly their costumes in this are so iconic and I originally wasn't going to put this episode World of Terror 2 in iconic and just in must watch but I just remembered it like some more and it's so iconic I love this episode there's basically a ghost haunt in the bay window and it's a crossover with Austin and Ali and then Ava Augie's friend is so funny she's probably one of the best characters second to Riley and there's even a part where Riley and Maya become cartoons and then they like swap eyeballs to like see the world from their perspective and they're just like ah oh, what is this i don't like this Ugh, everything's pretty <laughs> ah! how do i unsee this switch back switch back and just i thought this episode was so funny and so fun then we go really far down with world of terror 3 where honestly i can't really remember most of this episode what if riley and maya never became friends like what if they never met everyone becomes like the opposite of what they are like riley's like too goody goody maya's too baddy baddy like farkle's a big nerd smackle's a nerd lucas is still like a bully or something like it's an interesting concept but then the younger versions of riley and maya kind of annoy me and so whenever they pop up in episodes i'm not the biggest fan so i'm gonna put this in was this even halloween and also augie never exists because riley was like too goody goody whether like she annoyed her parents and so they didn't want to have another kid and augie disappears kind of like back to the future i don't like this episode and it doesn't really feel halloween -y. it's just like a what if this happened instead of that and then casey undercover season one episode 24 all hows eve I'm gonna put this in, was this even Halloween? Yes, Casey throws a Halloween party, and yes, Ernie kinda like starts to turn into a werewolf, but then other than that, it's just them two trying to prove their responsibility to their parents. Doesn't go to plan, not that fun of a Halloween episode when you have spies, like what they can do. But then season two, episode 21, I think this was the first time I watched this episode, and now it is a must watch virtual insanity ernie is trapped in like some virtual reality game and like held at a secret location and then casey has to go into that virtual reality fight a load of different bosses it's kind of like scott pilgrim versus the world or something where he has to fight different bosses to get to like to have the girl and then this is like for her to find her brother and like take down the baddies and this was just such a fun episode and i'm glad i finally watched it and like how i didn't watch it before bizarre park season one episode 10 halloween bark I'm gonna put it in Get in the Bin because basically this episode is them pitching different Halloween video ideas and other than Paige and Frankie's video idea where it was basically they summoned a ghost to avoid studying for a test and then it possessed Frankie. That was funny but then the other pitches from the other people wasn't even that funny and so get in the bin other than that one. Season 2 episode 12 Halloween Vibe Part Boo is an average Joe episode. Basically it's them telling different like scary stories but there is an incredible song in it and that's why it's average. And like Disney have a thing with turning people into dolls as well because again in this Paige and Frankie turn into dolls and that's really funny. Season 3 episode 7 Halloween Part 3 Malibu is get in the bin. Basically they run out of sweets and so they tell scary stories again and the different stories aren't really that interesting and again Again, there is another story of Frankenstein where Paige turns Frankie into Frankie Stein. And yes, that's funny and funny play on words. And that is the only good thing. And then there is a hilarious, like, breaking the fourth wall moment. But yeah, other than that, get in the bin. Don't really care. And we are almost there. Raven's Home, Season 1, Episode 11, The Baxterism of Levi Grayson. This episode is iconic. There are so many quick jokes in this. Raven's hilarious. Levi's hilarious. I think Levi is the best character in this show. Brooker tries to prank his friend that there is a ghost haunting like their apartment building and just is so funny. Season 2 episode 16 switch or treat 
this is the first time I watched this episode and now it is a must watch. Basically, Raven and Booker switch bodies because on Halloween, psychics switch bodies if they touch. Me as boyfriend and then Nan also switched bodies as well. And it was just so funny, like Booker pretending to be Raven and then Raven pretending to be Booker. <laughs> Can't believe my baby don't know me. Uh, that that was a mom squeal. It is you. Season 3, episode 10, Creeping It Real. Was this even Halloween? Raven's car is possessed and they think that the new guy who moved into their apartment building is like some kind of monster. And other than those aspects, it didn't really feel Halloween-y to me. Yes, those are very like Halloween-y themes, but I didn't really like, like this episode that much either. It wasn't like the other Halloween episodes. And speaking of the other Halloween episodes, season 4, Episode 2, Don't Trust the G in Apartment 4B. And I think this episode was great. The kids try to spend the night in like a haunted apartment and Chelsea is dressed up as a foot and honestly there's so many great jokes in this and Chelsea is just so funny in this. And though Boy Meets World isn't technically Disney Channel, I thought it was fun just to rank one of its Halloween episodes. And so this is season 5, episode 17 and then there was Sean. Sean is the expert of Halloween movies and so he's like, oh if this happens this is going to happen next i think this is a great episode because there's loads of different like references to, like different halloween movies all the characters in it were really funny and then it turns out it was like sean dreaming and it turns out like he was the serial killer going around killing people because they all got detention because of him because he was like interrupting the class because he was still upset that cory and topanga broke up and i just thought this was a really great episode and i accidentally added double to the episode so let's just like forget about those and i'll add in editing the picture of the good luck charlie episode the halloween in was this even halloween Ta da! There is my ranking of all Disney Channel Halloween episodes. And I liked how it almost fit perfectly, but now looking at it, I do want to change a few of them around. So I am going to move this Phineas and Ferb one up to iconic because it is just so iconic and. I think that might be it. I think I'm happy with all the other ones. Yeah, and so like I said, our opinions may be different, but this is just my opinion. This is where I rank all the Disney Halloween episodes. And like I said, these were all the ones that were available on Disney Plus and ones that I grew up watching or like I went back to watch. All the ones I've experienced. And so I wasn't able to rank Dog with a Blog or I didn't do it because they weren't on Disney Plus in the UK and also like other shows like Bunked or Best Friends Wherever or all shows like that I didn't watch those and that's my ranking of all Disney Channel Halloween episodes and I kind of want to go back and watch some of them already and like I said I do have a companion video to this where I ranked all 13 Halloween Disney Channel original movies so you can check that out up here and I'll leave a link in the description and in a pinned comment down below comment down below your ranking of some of these episodes or some episodes that I didn't even mention in this video but if you like this video please leave it a like and subscribe for more I'll have a video coming out on Halloween where I tier list rank all movies I watched for Halloween this year but if you like this video please leave it a like and subscribe for more thanks for watching bye